This is part two of the DIY co-ord tutorial. This is how to make the A-line skirt. Firstly, take the pattern pieces for the skirt as drafted in part one of this tutorial. Next, take the back piece, place the front piece on top of it, making sure that the right sides are facing each other. Next, pin down the right hand side of the side seam and sew with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Now you'll need to attach the zip. Take the right side of the front piece and pin the zip face down to this side. Now change your presser foot to a half zipper foot and sew down the zip. Next, pin the zip face down to the back piece. Sew the remainder of the left side seam with a 1.5cm seam allowance and using the half presser foot so you can get close to the edge of the zip. As drafted on the pattern pieces, there are two darts on the back of the skirt that are of a 1cm width. You can either pin the two 1cm darts of even spacing onto the back piece or you can try the skirt on and get someone to pin the darts for you. This makes sure that you get a better fit. Make sure that your darts are evenly spaced from the side seams. Sew the darts with a 1cm width, making sure that to finish the dart point, you sew right on the edge of the fold. This is what your darts should look like, and now your skirt's ready to attach the facing and lining. Next, attach the front and back lining pieces to the corresponding facings, making sure that the right sides are together and a 1.5cm seam allowance is followed. Now sew the right side seam of the lining pieces, so attach the left side of the back piece to the right side of the front piece, making sure that the right sides are facing one another and using a 1.5cm seam allowance. Now attaching the zip to the lining is the trickiest part of the skirt. Make sure that your main skirt is turned inside out and pin the left hand side of the zip to the left hand side of the lining piece, making sure that the wrong side of the lining is facing up. This may seem wrong when you're sewing it, but when you turn the lining around, it encases the zip and construction, as you can see here. Pin and sew the other side of the zip to the remaining edge of the lining, again making sure that the wrong side of the lining is facing you. Your skirt should now look like this, with the lining and skirt both being separate but attached together by the zip. Sew the rest of the lining side seam with a 1.5cm seam allowance. Next, turn the main piece of the skirt inside the lining. Next, pin and sew the waist of the lining and main pieces of the skirt together, as shown, with a 1cm seam allowance. Before turning the skirt the right way round, cut the excess from the zip corners. Now your skirt should look like this with no visible construction on the inside. To finish the skirt with rolled hems so the raw edges aren't visible, fold and press the hem of the lining and the main skirt by 1.5cm and repeat this so that overall 3cm have been folded and ironed. Then sew along the edge of this fold and there's your finished skirt. If you haven't already seen the tutorial for the top I've posted a link below. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment and all that jazz if you want to see more.